We were both interviewing for an internship position. Um, we specifically interacted over a joke. He asked what it would be like if the interviewees were being viewed by camera and you are sitting alone by yourself and then you get into the room and you say, yeah, I am very productive, I'm a team player. Could be the CCTV saw something else. So we laughed over that joke and we both got the internship position and that's how our life together began. That knowledge or that realization didn't come in an instant, it didn't come slowly and it didn't come easily. I got to know that Edna is the one through getting to know her more and more and getting to know a nature that's a loving nature, a trustful one and the kind of relationship that we had whereby we could fully trust one another and also over time we came to love spending time with each other and looking forward to being together. Through the years, um, in the course of our long courtship, um, Mike has shown this constant in the trial and the change kind of love which I know will last us through um, uh, this relationship and our marriage. We, we became friends before we started dating. Um, we were workmates, we interacted a lot, we discussed and debated science and everything. But I think the first description of a date-like situation was probably over an ice cream at Titanic. Yeah, but I think so. One Christmas we got to spend in Cambridge whereby we so I had some lovely time and I do remember that while walking around town we came across shop selling some shoes which I happened to like and she went out of her way to get me the pair for my Christmas present. I think traveling together has been what really stood out for me. Um, during, as we studied, we traveled a lot. And I think that's what I remember. I think what stands out is him waiting for me at a train station just to see me off. That was quite striking. What reminds me of him is a specific playlist called African Connection 2. <laughs> um, it's a very nice uh, playlist with, I think it's South African songs. Whenever I play it, a very, it's a very strong reminder of him. Music in particular, Olvam Tukuzi music, when like one of the first conversation we had was about music, the uh, 2020 which was sung by Olvam Tukuzi and Ed Kwenaina and also the program which she used to like called Aphrodisia and the other one is music by Alicia Keys and also the way she plays the piano. There's a photo of him in acting gear. He dressed up like an old man. Were you sitting Where? down? Where? I was in high school. Or Masano, I don't oh, remember. Ah, yeah, yeah black I gotcha. And photo. Black and white photo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice nice <laughs> yeah, yeah. He did some acting once, I remember that. So. I remember. What I find interesting was that he got suspended in high school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For the two of us, I always imagined I'm the one who was more likely to be. I really did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> such, <laughs> you've, such just, you've just burnt that picture, but yes. I was suspended in high school. But to be honest, the thing is that also she was suspended because of her religious belief. So it's for a good reason, I think. He has several. <laughs> I think quality time being one of the biggest ones. But Michael is also a very patient person. Um, acts of service are a big thing too. Touch too, yeah, I'd say. I'd say acts of kindness, gift and service. What has held us together is our common interests, our shared beliefs, and our steadfastness in God. Um, we have been through a long relationship, but over the years we've come to really understand who we truly are and who we want to be. And I think that so far has gone towards a common direction, which 
I'm confident will hold us through our marriage. We've sort of known and understood each other more in terms of who we are as individuals and how we can both support and love one another. My Michael is an ex excellent listener. I talk a lot and I complain a lot, so <laughs> he bears most of the brunt for it. But just having a listening ear has been incredibly and in, a tremendous show of support. I mean, also starting with the initial dad jokes during the interview, I think that's a very good way that he cheers me up. He's also full of laughter, he likes laughing. So the dry humor is not lost on me. It's a very good pick me up. For me, it's more of encouragement and being there for me when I'm down and knowing that I do have your support and unconditional support. And the two whom I've gotten to know, interacted with, that's Lydia and Eunice. And through Edna, I've gotten to know uh, other friends. And what I'll say is that it's one good friendship they have. They've had to learn to be able to be sustained for all this time. While he was studying, uh, he had a Ghanaian friend called Nemo Antwi. He's a very funny guy. He was, a, he was a student at the time studying engineering. The two were thick as thieves. <laughs> um, and then Lawi, one of his groomsmen, I met him during a zip lining adventure uh, at the forest in Limuru. He's also very funny. I think Mike likes to surround himself with uh, hilarious people. Okay, Michael's father is a, a retired military officer. Um, this is something that is probably displayed at his home. Um, his mother was a very um, avid and able um, farmer, and she has a very gregarious laugh too. Yeah. She has a very infectious laughter, I'd say. Yeah. The first time I was going to visit them, we had traveled like overnight with the bus, and the dad got up out of his way to wait for us at the stage, and we were establish a good relationship with them as uh, Edna's husband-to-be and they do have a loving nature and trustful and as any other parent they do want the best for Edna their child and all their children. Wow it's finally happening and we looking at how far we've come We've always trusted each other. We always know that we are there for one another. Michael. Jamal. <laughs> we have nothing to fear except that we fear, except that we forget how God has led us in the past. As much as the past has been wonderful, we are also looking forward to a wonderful time and creating more and more special moments with each other and the wedding will be now the beginning of a new life and I'd also like to say that we look forward to being with you and creating more special moments with you and always loving you, always trusting you and always supporting you in all that you do and being there for for you basically. May God con continue to give us the grace and the wisdom and the love that he has given us in the last 12 years. I hope this will be a, a wonderful, I hope to grow old with you. I love you. Nkwende. Mm -hmm.